Welcome back to the 75 gallon rimless mixed reef aquarium. Uh, the lights just came on, so I adjusted them for the taping of this video. Uh, but you can see they're just not open, especially the Duncans. Um, but it's a good opportunity to take a look at how many heads are on some of the corals and kind of do an inventory. I uh, have a couple. frags on the sand bed that need to be repositioned and uh, this is the um, purple frog spawn one two three four well one two three four five six seven eight heads um, yeah I think yep. eight heads and green Torch, the other torch, and just a quick look at what the tank looks like when the lights first come on. Uh, I need to move that particular flower pot, it is not doing well. It's being, I don't know, for some reason, it doesn't like that spot. So, uh, my handful of SPS are doing well. Sun coral. I've been feeding that. Accordia Florida's. I need to move this purple hammer. Uh, it just doesn't have enough space to expand. Um, and it's this one right there. That purple tip and green hammer. Uh, let's see what else. Green bubble coral is doing well. Eight cans are doing well. The Monte Cat, which is kind of sideways, wedged in there. Uh, this particular SPS in the middle, it's not doing too well. Um, well, I mean, it's doing okay. It's not bleaching out. But, and just a quick look at the parameters. We have um, my pH is coming in at 7.87, and the temperature of the tank is 79.4. Um, the other one is for the freshwater tank. So the pH on the freshwater tank is 6.39, temperature is 80.1. And, and my auto top off is a 10 gallon. I do not utilize caulk in my auto top off. Um, I've tried that. I may give it another go in the future. The challenge with using a container like this or uh, what I was using before was this container is that you have a lot of surface area and that open surface area as soon as you add this calc solution um, it doesn't do it in here because um, there's pretty much a cap on it and there's not that much um, air um, getting into the container which causes the reaction um, of uh, creates that surface skim and by having a container that has um, you know, a small uh, neck where you can put a lid and then have the tubes go through the lid. I think it's the best solution. Uh, there's three one gallon jugs that you've seen in my past videos. And we're using the same bottle of the cock washer. And then I'm adding, uh, for every gallon, I'm adding two teaspoons. Um, initially I started off with one and then I'm up to two teaspoons per gallon and then I also will add 15 um, milliliters of uh, vinegar and I'm up to about 20-25 milliliters per gallon 
and just to give you an idea, uh, this is one that's currently being dosed. Uh, this is uh, the dosing tube. It's just a hard, rigid dosing tube um, that came with the doser that I'm using. And I run this particular doser for the entire time that the lights are off, which is going to burn out this motor. Um, but it puts a nice steady uh, drip into the, um, the tank. Uh, what is it? 1.1 milliliter per minute. I need a slightly faster solution. Um, I think this part is working, um, but basically I go through one of these in about a day. Um, and then this is one that just got finished and basically what I do so I don't waste um, solution is I'll let this level right here go all the way down to where the tube is at and then obviously you don't want to dose anything below this line um, so once the liquid drains right about here kind of like this one um, I take it offline and then I just do a consolidation of um, solutions and then that way you just let it settle um, here is an example of a solution that has just been made and you can tell it is um, still very cloudy so everything hasn't quite settled out of it like this one um, so I do keep three um, one is always in service the other one is coming out of service and then I have um, one that's being prepared to go into service and that's pretty much the only thing I want to do is make sure I get a slightly maybe something like a Tom's aqua lifter would be a more suitable pump um, and then use this order one more of these pumps for my um, this is the BRS uh, 0.1 1.1 milliliter a minute dosing pump this is more suitable for dosing two part um, and my pH is within range but I would like to get it into the um, you know eight point something range so that's just a quick update thanks for watching welcome new subscribers and comments, suggestions, 